I don't know if you remember. No, you wouldn't know. You, you guys are still wet behind the ears. There was a year called 1983 when it really snowed. And in Idaho, the snow was a foot deep on the side of the telephone poles. The wind had just scattered it. That was the year of the thistle slide. Nobody was coming in the door. Oh, I lacked. Well, I needed about $8,000 to pay my bills. People owed me about twelve, dollars and uh, I had a $96,000 note that I'd taken out to build a new building, and uh, it was at 12 and a quarter percent. Uh, you probably don't believe that, but Doug, you remember those yeah. years. I mean, you'd borrow the money, and you'd have to pay 12 and three quarter. You can borrow money for a couple of percent right now, two or three, tops probably four. Oh, I remember thinking that how are we going to make it? Well, I thought a lot about that, and um, my wife and I, we decided we'd give a little bit extra to the poor that Christmas, and I remember listening to my wife. She said, you have, how much money did we have left? $200, and we gave 50 of it to the poor, and I remember my wife telling me, she said, I've made the kids clothes out of a bolt to Material. Our kids looked like the Sound of Music kids back then. My <laughs> wife would sew everything out of the same bolt. And uh, I've been using our food storage. It all worked out. About January of that year, Union Seed Company called me and they said, I understand you've developed a little seed grain cart. Now, a seed grain cart was one, they used to put all of the seed to plant grain in little 40 to 50 pound bags. And then they'd have a pallet of them on the back of their flatbed truck and they'd rip them and dump them in the grain drill and plant a few thousand acres. Well, the wind would catch them and they'd have to go gather the bag on the neighbor's fence a mile away. Well, we came up with an idea that we'd take and we'd build a big box. They'd just bulk feed the grain in. It was about 27 cents a bag for the labor and the material to bag these, you know, to bag the grain but they could dump it for maybe two cents a bag to just the labor to feed it into the big drill, the big uh, bulk feeder. We called them either like a nurse tank or it would be a portable um, grain auger. We, we stuck a cable inside the pipe so that you could fold the auger over to drive it down the road. Then you just had to lift it up. The cable would slide inside the other pipe and it would align the auger and they'd just start up the engine and they'd fill 10,000 pounds of grain. Do you know, imagine how many hours that saved them of labor to rip the bag open and dump it in the grain drill. They'd just start the grain drill up. It'd feed up out of the auger. They had a little flex spout. All of a sudden, everybody wanted them. That year, we sold about 40 of those grain drills. And I remember thinking, the first guy that came to me, now here's what happens when you're broke and your wife just chewed you out because you only have $150 left in the world. They came to me and they said, how much to build one of these carts? Got my pencil out, tight as I could go. $3,150 a piece. Is that too much? Build me 10. Whew, man, I did the old dance and headed home. I was so excited we had work. <clears throat> Their competitor, Mark Grain, saw what Union Seed had bought. What are you building? Tell me about it. Build me 10. Mark Grain saw that Union Seed was getting 10, and next thing you know, Union Seed wants 10 more. Then Mark Grain wants 10 more. By the end of the year, I'd paid my 90 some thousand dollar note off on my shop and paid my shop off, and I had $33,000 in the bank. And I had to pay Uncle Sam so much money, I thought, what did he do for me? But I learned the importance of paying my taxes, too. It was a great year.